This is the incredible story of one of the very first submarines, the Confederate Army's H.L. Hunley. It was propelled and maneuvered on manpower alone by a crew of eight in very tight quarters. It was a grueling, exhausting, dangerous task. The legend of the Hunley is a true Civil War tale of heroic triumph and unfathomable tragedy. It was a murky evening, February 17, 1864. The world's first combat submarine is deployed from the Confederate harbor town of Charleston, South Carolina. Its mission, to sink the massive Union blockade ship, the USS Housatonic. In the dark of night, the eight-member crew planted a primitive torpedo into the Housatonic's underbelly, backing away and detonating the bomb with a pull of a long lanyard. The plan worked. The massive enemy target went down in less than five minutes. The jubilant crew of the Hunley quickly began a triumphant return to shore. That's where the mystery begins. This was the work life of the crew of the H.L. Hunley. Imagine trying to propel such a heavy vessel through such a primitive mode. Well, it wasn't long before their first encounter with the enemy. They successfully sank a ship. They also sunk themselves. Imagine, what a way to go. The Hunley never made it back. Exactly what happened to the ship and her crew has been a secret of the sea for nearly a century and a half. Then in 1997, the wreckage was found, but could she be raised? After years of strategizing, the sub is lifted delicately from her sea-locked grave and carefully placed in a holding tank for further study. Surprisingly, she is mostly intact. South Carolina Senator Glenn McConnell is a major proponent of the project. It's a story of American bravery. It's a story of American ingenuity. And it brings science and history and life together. And so that's why it, it captivates people. They look at it and they say, it took tremendous bravery for anybody to climb in that uh, vessel. Here at the Hunley Museum, you will see and feel the story of a magnificent vessel and her courageous crew. But what the general public is not allowed to see yet is what's behind this door. Sir? When the bodies of the Hunley crew were discovered, they were carefully examined because they found much of the body still intact. There was bone, there was tissue. Their brains, in fact, were still within the skull. That's why the bodies were kept here for several years, studied and preserved in the morgue. From the remains, forensic specialists were able to reconstruct the facial features of the ill-fated crew. At last, the brave history-making sailors have real identities. Many artifacts have been recovered from the concretion coating the vessel as well. Jewelry, most likely intended as gifts. Personal items such as tobacco pipes and mustache combs. Inside this rock, special x-rays revealed a common oil can. Months of painstaking work later, scientists uncover the can in almost pristine condition. It is priceless. Just what happened to the Hunley has yet to be determined. Some say the percussion from the blast broke off the Hunley's rudder, leaving the crew spiraling to the ocean floor. Another theory has the eight men passing out from oxygen deprivation. Whatever it was that took out the Hunley that night, Senator McConnell feels it won't be long until we find out. I think we we're probably a year or less, I say about 10 months off from the final uh, mystery. And here's why, because every time we find something, it's another piece of the jigsaw puzzle. And the story of the Hunley is this giant historical jigsaw puzzle. Each little piece starts to put together that picture. 